What's up everybody? My name is Jeremy Johns and I'm back with another video. Today we're talking to Rick Owens and Converse collab. So stay tuned. Hoping one day I'ma get it all right. Brother is engaged, but I started my own life. Yeah, I haven't had a chill day. Really wanna vibe, appreciate the moments. I've been creating, not scrolling. Mom and dad still support it. Alright, man, I'm back with another video, man. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I made content about sneakers. Alright, so let's dive into today's video. That's right, we're talking the Converse and Rick Owens collab. All right, man, we're gonna be keeping things very simple over here today. We're gonna be answering the basic old question. Are they drip or skip? Let's just keep it there. All right, so first things first, both of these shoes are set to release January 10th, to the best of my knowledge. One coming in at $170 and the other pair coming in at $200, right? Okay. Now, of course, you know the kid glanced at the resale price and looked like they're going to be averaging right about $200 and up depending on the size, right? Okay. Now, that... Honestly, it's just my best estimate based off the previous releases because I have looked on sneakers app and the other apps as well, and I have yet to see these sneakers at the time that I'm recording this video. Now, if that changes, I will have a better image of what the actual resale market is going on these sneakers. Now, Rick Owens, last time I did a video on these was back in May, which is the last time they did like this drop, right? Okay, they did a Dark Shadow, and of course, they also did the Converse version, which they don't call those the Dark Shadows. Those are pretty much have a different name, but we've already seen these in the Discord as well, so they always do like these same like particular model, models, right? Okay, now these Converses look like they're coming with a more of a like furry type of material. I've seen Kwame kind of looking at these already in the Discord, not taking shots at you, Kwame, but we've already kind of seen these fold around images already, so I'm not kind of surprised. Now, Rick Owens, if you listen to pretty much any form of hip hop, you can't help but hear people rap about Rick Owens in general, so he is a very famous, well-known designer, right? Okay, and he's collabing with Nike. Now, why the Converse sneakers? I have no idea, but Converse is now owned by Nike. I remember a time when Converse used to be its own thing, but now it's obviously with Nike at this point. Now, I've talked about this shoe again in the past. Videos have done well. And it seems like they continue to do the same exact models, right? Okay, now, one is like the Dark Star and one is like obviously the Dark Shadow, but no matter how you slice and dice it, one is just that old school Converse style type of shoe. And then this one is the other Converse shoe. I can't help but think of the rapper Bone Crusher, and if I can find images of him in his video when I'm never scared, he was rocking Converse's. Not of this colorway, but of this particular model, he was rocking Converse's. So every time I think of Converse, I low-key think of Bone Crusher because it was a thing back in the day where Converse had a rerun, so to speak, right? Okay, this is just how long I kind of been paying attention to sneakers over the time, kind of telling my age here, but neither here nor are there. This overall, I will say this, for the Converse is one, that extra furry material, I'm personally, right, not a fan of it. It's not a bad shoe. Y'all know I'm very particular with my Converse, although I do have Converse in my collection, but I do beat them. But I'm not surprised that these do sell out, you know, globally is what I'm looking for right here. You know what I'm saying? Sure, it's not like a super hype sneaker, but Nike is showing you that they're willing to collab with a lot of different big major brands that's low key that we don't really know about in the States. And if we do, it doesn't get enough shine. So maybe I don't know enough and maybe it's what I'm trying to tell on myself, but neither here nor there. Overall, not a bad shoe for either one of them, neither the Dark Star or of course the Dark Shadow. Either one of them, I feel like it's a nice, clean, subtle colorway, but I do say for the comfort is for me they're doing a little bit merch as far as that fur material but that doesn't mean it's not a bad shoe but for the kid personally they will be a skip right okay not bad on the resale market so even if you don't catch a w on these for that 170 dollars or the 200 dollars price point depending on which shoe you decide to pick up honestly i think you can pretty much 
with maybe slightly a little bit of extra depending on the size you can still get these guys if you want them in your collection but for the kid they will be a skip but I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section and will you be going after these on January 10th one retailing at $170 and one retailing at $200 and of course let me know if you think they're drip or skip all right, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones, and thank you for watching, and I'm out.